Back to Everyday Kentucky. Today is National Boils. What is you it? You did it again. <laughs> Today Boy. is Boil Day. I think I'm just starving. It's National and Boy. You're running know, them together. Right? That's what's okay, happening. so here we go. Let's do it again. Today is National Boy Scout Day. And since 1910, boy across America have been doing good deeds, learning survival skills, and developing moral foundations. And sitting down with us this morning is WKIT's very own Eagle Scout. The man, the myth, the legend, <laughs> oh. Sam Dick. Yes, you know, you know, Boy Scouts do boil things. Maybe that's where you're. Well, that's, that's where I'm yeah. going. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Thank I've had. A, I can not tell you how many times I wake up in the morning as a Boy Scout did. Uh, on a cold day and it's been raining all night and you're cold and your sleeping bag's wet and you're miserable and you've got to boil, you know, water. Yeah. So, yeah. There, there you go. Well, thank you, Sam, for helping me out. Yes. Tell us, how did you get involved in Boy Scouts? I'm going to take you back to the old days. Okay. Back okay. in the early 60s, there were very few organized sports for young kids. There was no social media. There was no laptop computers or iPads. Television was limited to three networks. So every boy that I knew in my school was a Cub Scout. So literally, I mean, that's how it was so popular back then. And so I was a member of a den, and I can tell you who my den mothers were. They were like second moms to me. So this was in Louisville. So I had a tremendous experience as a Cub Scout. Uh, most of the Cub Scouts in my den became Eagle Scouts, which is a fairly rare thing. So that was a great thing. And then later we moved to Northern Virginia, and that's where I was a Boy Scout. And I was one of those kids when I was 11, 12, 13, smallest in my class, uh, funny last name. I got bullied a bunch. I really needed something to grab hold of, and Scouts offered that and really meant a lot to me in terms of confidence and learning things and being out in the woods and doing things. I credit Boy Scouts with a lot of my just, you know, work ethic and mm -hmm. grit and trying to do the best I can. Yeah. Be prepared. That's, we, a, that's, we, that's the motto. And even the other day I said, you know, be prepared. Yeah. So. How do you think it is to get, or how do you feel to bring children in? Right now, a lot of boys, they're like, we don't want to do that. We're into sports and things like that. How do you bring these type of kids in? I, I, the adventure side of it, okay. kayaking, boating, fishing, hunting, uh, uh, bow and arrow, shooting with a rifle, uh, marksmanship, uh, camping. I mean, just go down the list. Yeah, yeah that's Rock good. climbing. Look, all those things I just named, those are cool things to do. Mm -hmm. So I think if you think of it more as that versus uh, having your nose in a Boy Scout book or even you know, that kind of thing, uh, it's really a lot of fun. Swimming. Uh, I was a lifeguard. I got to be a lifeguard because of what I did in scouting. I went on a 200-mile hike when I was 18 out west before I went to college. Boy Scouts prepared me to do that. Wow. So scouting really has meant a lot to me and I still whenever they ask I, I help out I'll, I'll host a luncheon or a fundraiser or whatever I can do because uh, I've got so many memories so many great memories of things that I did as a Boy Scout that led later in life to doing some really good things. Take us to the different levels Cub Scout, uh, Boy Scout, I don't, right. I don't even know all well, of them. Most, most boys that get into Cub Scouts are in that range of first grade so maybe six seven years old mm -hmm. and then in Boy Scouts we're talking about probably around 12 years old, 11 years old. You were probably really mature as 11 and 12 year old boy, I'm sure, in Salyersville. Right. But, but I wasn't that way. <laughs> <laughs> so I, rough, rough upbringing. <laughs> yeah. So I, I really needed something to grab hold of and, and help me grow up. And, and that really helped. That really did. So quickly tell us about the program that you have with the Boy Scouts. Um, well, I just volunteer any chance I get. I go out to Camp McKee. Camp McKee is a wonderful Boy Scout camp over in uh, Powell County, I believe. Okay. And uh, so I, I, whenever they ask, I go out there and talk to kids. Uh, I've done Eagle Scout ceremonies. Uh, you know, you say, I am an Eagle Scout. It's not I was an Eagle Scout. It's something you carry with you for the rest of your life. Uh, back in the beginning of the space program, every astronaut was an Eagle Scout. So it's one of those kind of things that was, is really uh, uh, coveted. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Is. I and, didn't. And, that's something I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know that yeah. either. Sam, we appreciate you stopping by and talking Thank to us a little you. bit. Thank you. You're two of my favorite people. Oh, oh. I watch you guys almost every morning. He, that's what he, tell, he tells me. I want me. you all to You're the one. Sam said <laughs> it first. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. We appreciate Congratulations it. Congratulations to both of you for whenever. having a great show. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you.